Can you see now? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. So nice. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Nice. The blind yes. man and the elephant. All of you take out the blind man and elephant. Page number 29. Page number 29. Uh, it's uh, page 29. Yes. So now I'm going to start. Okay. Before that, one thing I would like to tell you all that there will be some words which I would like you to underline also. So please keep your pencil also in your hand. Okay? I have my pen with me. Okay, now let's begin. This story is about six men who are blind. Okay. So, you know the meaning of blind? What is the yes, meaning of blind? They cannot see. They, they can, can only see. feel. Oh, so a blind man, like, he is not seeing. Cannot see. Yes, he cannot see. He cannot so, here in this story, there are six blind men. For more than one, what we say? Men. For more than one man, what we will say? Men. Men. M E N. Okay. Men. So the name of the M lesson is the blind M men and the elephant. And I am very sure all of you know about the elephant. That elephant is a very big, huge animal. So yeah. just I before I start, I want to tell you all to close your eyes. All of you close your eyes. How do you feel? How do you feel? Any one child can tell me. How do Only you God. Feel? Yeah. 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 Yes. Only God. Yes. Only God. Close your eyes. Yes. When I'm closing my eyes, eyes, there is a blind showing. I cannot see anything. <laughs> now listen to me. Close your eyes and touch the thing in front of you. Touch the thing in front of you. How do you feel, Rimas? Rimas will say. Um, How do you feel? I'm feeling... Feeling. What did you touch? What did you feel? That what it is? You, a you book. Feel. So by she the feeling. Uh, yes. Seeing what, what's you, happening. One by one I will ask. She, she don't see what's happening. Yeah. So you touched and you felt that there is a book. But you cannot see. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Tasbi. 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 Close your eyes and touch on the. In front means on the table. And whatever you have kept, touch that. And tell me, how did you feel? Thus be. I feel I catch a, a snake. What did you touch? A pencil. A pencil. So, because you know the pencil, oh. it is, so you understood that it is a pencil. So, I'm, why I am asking you to do this? Because these people, they are blind in the story and they are also touching something and they are just calling out the names that this is maybe this or something like this. Okay? So, by the feeling, they are, they are guessing. So, now let's begin. Now, let's begin. The Once upon a time, there were six blind men. All of you will listen very carefully, look into your reader or on the screen, wherever you want, okay? It is on the screen also and it is in your reader also. But if you see in your reader, you can underline the difficult words I will tell you. Okay, once upon a time, there were six blind men. They wanted to learn new things. They would touch and feel things to understand what they were like. Then they would decide on what the new thing was like. Now, as I told you, to close your eyes and touch the thing in front of you and to guess what, what it is. So you were guessing. So in the same way, these six men, they were blind and they wanted to learn new things. So for that, they used to touch and feel the things. And then they would decide on that thing that what was it like. Suppose if they touch a ball, they will say maybe it is uh, something. They can say a pot or anything they will talk about on that. Okay. One day a circus came to town. Do you know what is a circus? Underline yeah. circus. What yes. is a circus? What is a circus? Really we went to a circus. What, is, what do you mean by it's circus? Like like a 
some animals they present their program even the people they do some yes yeah. so one day a circus came to town underlying circus people spoke about an elephant at the circus so in the second paragraph second paragraph my dear see in your reader people spoke about an oh, elephant at the circus now the people in the circus they were talking about an elephant the blind men heard this so the blind men were listening to these things they wanted to go to the circus touch and feel the elephant and understand what it was like are you listening to me yes teacher okay so these people yes, okay now keep quiet mute your microphone only listen to the teacher these people they were listening about the elephant so they decided to go to the circus and touch and feel the elephant and they wanted to understand what it was like the next morning the blind men went to the circus who is talking in between children like this how i am going to read and explain you keep quiet the next morning turn your page the next morning the blind men went to the circus they asked the circus owner who is the owner like the person who owns the place very good the person who owns that thing or place here the place okay so they asked the circus owner to take them to the elephant the owner took them to the elephant one by one so these six people they went next morning they went to the circus and they asked the man who was responsible for all those things who was the owner of that circus to take them to the elephant and the owner took them to the elephant <laughs> one by one took them one by one okay the first blind man bumped against the elephant and fell down now what he did he bumped again what does it mean like touch it like get hurt yeah. just hit okay so the first blind man bumped against the elephant and fell down he fell down because elephant is a very huge animal so what happened he fell down he felt the elephant side and then he felt the side of the elephant this is rough and huge oh the elephant is like a wall bumped against means hit so what that man the first feeling what came to his mind that elephant is rough and huge why rough and huge he thought what teacher yeah did he think that the elephant is rough and huge what happened that he thought like that he said that this is rough and huge oh the elephant is like a wall why because he fell down and he fell the elephant side that's why okay he fell the elephant side he touched and then he thought immediately that elephant is rough you know the meaning of rough something which Just is not like smooth hard. and huge yes you, teacher i know something it. is like it's so big. hard so oh, he like understood he understood that this is something very big the second now this the first man thought okay now the second you remember the owner took them one by one okay so the first man thought like that now the second blind man felt the elephant's tusk you know what is tusk kana yes. what is a the, tusk yes the tusk the tooth the tooth of the elephant okay you can see your reader also you will get it the tooth of the elephant he touched okay so he said that the tusk is smooth and sharp the elephant is like a spear now what is it it's a weapon with a sharp tip okay he thought that it's like a spear how can a wall be smooth and sharp now he's thinking that how can a wall wall is rough he said no he's saying how can a wall be smooth and sharp he's thinking like this okay now see the meanings here what is tusk read out on the screen i have put 
an elephant's tooth which is long and pointed. Can you read? Yeah. Teacher. The second blind Teacher. man. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. yes. Uh, every, every time you every time you say something, it it become text on the screen. Why? I can see it is coming the picture. He yeah, has a picture in his iPad or the computer. Uh, that is, you have to check, my dear. Now, second man, also he went, he touched it, and what did he feel like? What did he think about the elephant? That elephant is like a? A snake. No, spear. Whoa, spear. spear. The second man, okay? okay the okay, first one. man, okay. what did he think? First man, what did he think? The elephant is like a? Whoa. Now the third man. The third blind man touched the elephant's huge trunk. You know the trunk? What is trunk? Yes. See, see his trunk. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, the, so the third blind man touched the elephant's huge trunk. The trunk feels long and thick. The elephant is like a snake. Now the third man thought that the elephant is like a snake it could be poisonous poisonous yeah. but like it's some like chemical that will kill you yeah yes like when the snake bites the human it is the poison human snake bites. is also it poisonous, poisonous. It's it's very, yeah, dangerous dangerous thing so he yeah. thought the third man thought the elephant looks like a snake you will remember what the first man thought, what the second man thought, what the third man thought. What the third man thought. Quite the fourth blind man touched the elephant's huge leg. This feels like a tree. Now this man, he thought that the elephant is like a tree. The elephant is like a tree. He's thinking like this. Okay? The fourth man. The fifth blind man felt the elephant's ear. All are touching different parts of the elephant. Okay? All the blind men are touching different parts of the elephant, this elephant. This is large and thin. When he touched the elephant's ear, he said that this is large and thin. You all are He's saying to his friends that you all are wrong. The elephant is like a fan. He thought the elephant is like a fan. Now the last blind man caught the elephant's tail. He felt that by when he touched the tail, it feels thin and long. Then he thought the elephant is like a rope. Now yeah. tell me what did the first man think about the elephant? What did the first man think? Wall. Wall. The second man? Wall. The third man? The fourth man? The fourth man? The fifth man? The fifth man? The Fan. Fan. Okay? Fifth man? What did he say? Fan. The last blind man? Rope. Okay, now listen, now listen, now mute your microphone. I got the answer, now mute your microphone. Thus, each blind man kept saying what he thought the elephant looked like. Now all were saying what they felt, okay? Each one of them said that the others were wrong. Now suppose the first one was saying that it looked like a wall, then he was saying all others are saying wrong, means the elephant is like a wall. The second one was saying it looks like a sphere. Then he was saying all other five friends were saying wrong. Like this, each one of them said that the others were wrong. They started quarreling among themselves. What is the meaning of quarreling? Fighting. Fighting. Underline quarreling. Quarreling. Underline. Quarreling. Okay. So what happened? Ultimately, finally, they started fighting. Why they started fighting? One child will leave their own saying that well, the they were all saying different things about the elephant. They were all saying different things about the elephant. Now, a wise man. Wise, who is a wise man? One who is very intelligent. One who is very clever. 
one who is very intelligent underline wise underline wise like genius like yes, genius. genius intelligent so you underline wise a wise man who was passing by saw all that happened now he saw that these people they were fighting among themselves dear friends he said dear friends all of you are wrong your mistake was you touched only one part of the elephant what he said to them the that elephant. all are wrong why they were all wrong because they touched only one part of yes, the elephant they didn't touch the entire elephant each one touched yeah, the one part that. they did not touch <laughs> all together you must touch and feel the entire what is the meaning of entire That's the whole thing ऑफ़ Okay, thus saying, the wise man helped the blind man feel the animal entirely. Entire means complete. So he helped them to feel the animal completely. So from this story, we understand one very important thing. What did you understand? That we do not fight over things without just looking at the thing. Like yes. one entire thing first. Who is saying this? Hana. Very good. Jana Sharif, did you understand that at the end there is one message? What what is that message about? We can say also the moral of the story. So every we have to know everything before we say anything. Yes. Before coming to the conclusion, before coming to the conclusion, we should try to understand the whole thing completely. You should not like suppose. Yes, we should not come to the conclusion that oh maybe somebody complains that this child has done this and without knowing somebody starts beating him. No, that is wrong. One should understand the whole story. They should listen. and then only come to the conclusion so the moral of the story hana read please from the that screen that we do not fight read. over things without feeling the whole thing i have put on the screen read now okay one should examine a matter from all sides and only then give her his opinions his therefore we should therefore we should not quarrel with others who have different opinions because everyone looks at things from different angles we should always appreciate other people's opinions this will go long way in improving our relation with them yes very good so and you read very nicely very good so what moral we get from this story is that we should not quarrel or we should not fight for a simple thing first we should understand the matter nicely we should examine means we should understand the matter from all, all sides and then only we should say that he is wrong or she is wrong or this is the, the thing we should understand completely and there is one more important thing that we should always appreciate we should always appreciate other people's opinions also suppose i will say something ahana will say something and jumana will say something and jessica will say something and jana will say something and rital will say something but we should appreciate everybody saying okay whatever they are saying we should appreciate then only it will go long way in improving our relation with them so That these friends. people they, these people they did not understand that point they touched just one part each one touched one part and they started describing about the animal that it looks like this it looks like this everyone had different views and they started fighting and ultimately what happened a wise man came and he solved the problem by showing them the full animal he took each one and he let them feel the full part of the animal by touching the whole body of the animal is that clear to all of you the story yes. is a very small story to the teacher me. to the microphone 
and one by one the teacher will call out the name the teacher will call out the name and they will read so the first child abdullah adil muhammad abdullah adil muhammad read one paragraph start reading yes teacher this is reading time also because i have to give you to read also read and everyone will listen carefully then i will give chance okay teacher lesson number 4 the blind man and the elephant once upon a time there were six blind men they wanted to learn new things they would touch and feel things to to understand what they were like they they would like they would decided on what the new thing was like one day a circus came to town oh, yes, thank you thank you one paragraph one paragraph so that all the children will get chance more children will get chance all cannot get in one day okay very good now remass remass another paragraph start another paragraph one day a circus came to circus, town circus it's circus. circus yes came to town yeah people people spoke about an elef- elephant at the circus the blind men heard heard this heard. they heard the past form of here yeah okay heard this they wanted to go that the, to the circus touch and feel the elephant and and under Wait, wait. And understand what it was like. Very good. Okay. Now next time. Now next next time next time. Don't do like that. Then I cannot give to read. Okay. I will call out the name I said. Now, Tala Muhammad. Tala Muhammad. Another paragraph. Okay, teacher. The next morning, the blind men went to the circus. They asked the circus owner to take them to the elephant. The owner took them to the elephant one by one. Very good. Okay. Next child, I will ask now. I will ask yes. next child. One minute. Sure, can I read? Mm-hmm. Janna, please. Me, please. Me, please. Me, please. If you do me, like please. this, I will stop. If you do like this, I will stop. That's I will not be to read. See how nice the children are reading. No one can read. Have patience. Read. Teacher, please read. Teacher, okay. To the first blind I man, Abdul Rahman, gains the elephant and falls down. He falls the elephant side. The second blind man falls the elephant dust. And the boy. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, Juliana, Juliana, Nabil. The sec, the the third blind man touched the elephant trunk. The fourth blind man touched the elephant hug leg. Huge. It's huge. Huge leg. Huge means very big. Yeah. yeah. The fifth blind man left, fell, fell the elephant ear. The last, the last blind man, the last blind man caught, caught the elephant tail. Very good. Okay. Now, Erini, Erini. Erini. Yes, teacher. Teacher, me. Yes, Erin, I called. Yes, teacher. Read. The task is smooth oh, and yeah. sharp. The elephant is like a spear. How can I go be smooth and sharp? This this is through a huge oak. The elephant is like a wall. It feels big and long. The elephant is like a rope. 
This feels like a tree. Yeah. The elephant is like a tree. <laughs> Good dear. Okay, that thank task. you. Okay, thank you. Next child. Adam has him. <laughs> Adam has him. <laughs> me too, sir. Please, tell me something. Tell me. All will get chance if you don't yeah. disturb like this. Adam has him. It's the eye it's the Read. Read. This is large and thin. You're not paying attention, Adam Hazel. This is large and thin. Teacher, Amr, Amr opened his mic and closed. You don't want to read? Asil. Hey, teacher. Omar, read. I want to read. Am I really? That each blind, that each blind man kept saying what he thought the elephant looked like. Each one of them said that the others were wrong. They started quarreling among themselves. Okay, Noor Kamal. Good, Noor Kamal. Check. Read Noor Kamal. Okay. A wise man, page number 31, wise man was passing. A, a wise man who was passing, I saw all that happened. Oh. Dear friends, all of you were are wrong. You're missing was that you touch only one part of the elephant. You must touch and feel the entire animal before you get an idea of the animal looks like. Mm. And the last line? And the that's last? The, 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 saying. the saying, the wise man helped the blind man feel the animal entirely. Entirely, entirely. Okay. Entirely. Arya, okay. Arya Muhammad. Arya Muhammad. No, yes, teacher. Start from the beginning again. I want to give chance to mm, more and more children. Okay. I want to give chance today only more and more so please everyone cooperate and read one one paragraph many children can get chance like this Arya start from the yes. and one thing I want to tell you you all are reading very nicely very good teacher once upon a and voice remind me teacher you don't want to read Arya no I want to read Read them. I am waiting. Read. Once upon a time, there was six. There were. There were. Because many. There was six blind men. They wanted to learn new things. <clears throat> they would. They would. They touch, would touch and feel. They would touch and feel things to understand what they, what they were. What they were like. <laughs> what happened, Arya? Then Arya. they yes. were decided on what they n knew things was like. Okay, thank you. Now, Clara, Clara, continue. Yes, teacher. Continue from the second paragraph. <laughs> I cannot hear. Increase your volume of the microphone. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Then, then, no, no. This one. One day a circus came to town. Page number 29. Okay. Clara, where are you? Mazin? Mazin? Are you there, Mazin? Teacher, I don't read. Meena, are you there, Meena? Teacher, I don't read. I'm only raising my hand. Who? No need to read. Me, I'm reading. I will call. I will call. I will call the name. Teacher. I'm calling the name, no? Teacher. Muhammad Junaidi is there? Teacher. Muhammad Junaidi is there? 
read second paragraph. Sir, you will have to see where they are uh, reading. Okay. Sir, one, sir, one, this where your girlfriend is. One day, a circus came. One, to this where your girlfriend is. Sir, yes. Uh, one this period will finish. Why you want to, to know the about the period when it will finish? You don't want to read? I love it. it. I want it to finish. I love it. You don't want to read? Who is asking? Jessica is asking? Yes, teacher. Jessica, you did not read? Yes. Jessica, okay. correct. Sure, I don't. You read. You want to know when one the period day. will finish? What, teacher? You want teacher. to know when the period will finish? Read, 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 read. One read. day, a search come to town. People spoke about an elephant at the circus. They blind men heard his. They wanted to go to the circus, touch and feel the elephant, and understand what it was like. Very good. Now, Rodi. Rodina, yes, teacher. Many children have not read. Okay. I'm calling one by one. Yes, I want to read. The blind yes. man went to the circus. They asked the circus owner circus. to it is take circus. the word is circus. circus to take them to the elephant. The owner took them. To the elephant one by one. The okay. first plan. Okay. 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 So that. So I didn't read. read. Who is saying this? One by one, I'm calling. No, my dear. Jessica, is Sam. You are yes. saying no. You are saying like this. Yes. Why? You are in hurry. Read. Okay. Read. The first blind man bumped against the elephant and fell down. He felt the elephant's sides. The second blind man felt the elephant's tusk. The, the third blind man touched the elephant's trunk. The fourth blind man touched the elephant's half leg. The Huge! My dear, it is huge. Before I told, you did not hear. Huge. Say. Huge. Yeah. The fifth blind man. Uh, the fifth blind man filled the elephant's ear. The last blind man cut the elephant's tail. Okay. Very good. Lara. Lara. Hana, I gave you to read the moral of the story. Wait. Yes. Let other children also get chance. Hana, I, I gave yes. you to read the moral of the story. Wait. Yeah, I know. Listen. Teacher. Lara, read. Teacher. Yes. Can I go to bathroom and come? Quickly, okay? Quickly. Teacher. And when you come, tell me. Tell Lara, me. Lara, are you there? Sir, I want to read. Sir. Yusuf Mahmood. Yes, teacher. Read. Read in the box. The tusk is smooth and sharp. Read this one. Again, teacher? No, page 30. In the small box it is written. The tusk is smooth. This is large and thin. No. no, this one. The first box you see. The tusk is smooth and sharp. From here you read. The tusk is small and sharp. The elephant is like a spear. Who can a wall be small and sharp? Okay. Next one, Patrick. Patrick. I came from the yes, teacher. Read. The test feels long and thick. Read this one. Teacher, I came. Okay, good. Teacher. Okay, Patrick. Teacher, I don't want to be reading, so you need to show me the page. 
it is on page number 30 it is in the box the tusk feels long and thick what happened i don't have the reader i'm in egypt you are in egypt okay see my screen okay should i read okay. this yes read the field land man touched the elephants huh. Huh? huge huge it is huge trunk the yes. trunk feels long and thick the elephant is like a snake it could, it be, could be poisonous poisonous okay thank you now next child read this i will call out the name uh, uh, who did not read? Omar, did you read Omar? Omar, Omar Ammar? Omar Ammar didn't read. Okay, read now. This, which you can see on the screen, read this. didn't read. Okay, after this. Omar, read first. Omar, it is on my screen, read. Omar is not there, not responding. Tala, did you read? Yes. You finished reading? Yeah, I read. Then why are you showing? I didn't read. Teacher, I did not Who? Me. Me who? I don't I don't read. I don't read. Real, real you read, real. Read, read this screen. The first, the first land man touched the elephant's huge trunk. This feels like a tree. The elephant is like a tree. Okay, next child I will call now. Next child. Next child I will call the name. One minute. Abdullah. I gave you a chance. Where were you? Abdullah. Abdullah read the open. He read, yes, I gave him a chance. Yusuf Wad, Yusuf Wad, you read this page. Okay, Richard. Yusuf Wad. I, I can read you. That okay. is the fifth, the fifth, the fifth. The fifth blind man. Man filled the elephant's, elephant's ear. Ear. This, this is large ear. and thin. And, uh, and then mm. you you all are, are wrong you all are wrong wrong yes the elephant is is like a fan yeah then not to next, next child i will call out the name wait one by one name better it's better to call out the name yeah did you read Yasin? Yasin. No, teacher, I don't read. Okay. I read now. Read this page. The screen. Yes, from the screen. From the screen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now to give chance to all. Okay. 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 The last blind man. The last blind man. Caught, caught. caught. It is the past tense of catch. The elephant the is a tail. It, it feels thin and long. The elephant is like a rope. Very good. Now, next child. Uh, who did not read? Teacher. Yes. That's me. Me. I gave. You said what? I, I gave you a chance. That's why I gave you a chance, no? No. No? no okay, read. Okay, read. Read. Okay, I don't remember. Read. The last blind, blind man. The last la blind man caught, caught, caught the elephant tail. Yes. It fell in an and long the and long. Elephant the is 
like the elephant is like a rose very good now next child who is the next child who did not get chance yusuf was the giver three three another child who did not get who did not get chance no idea tomorrow we will continue okay okay tomorrow we will continue